So hey guys, um, now I'm going to review Blue Beetle issue number 6. Now before I review this comic, I want to show you the cover, like I said. So, um, this is the cover of issue number 6 right here. Not trying to get the glare here. But you can see, of course, Scarlet Beetle right here versus Blue Beetle. And it says right here, when friends become foes. Um, or when friend becomes foe. So, in the end of issue number 5, I didn't tell you guys what happened, but hopefully you guys have read, you know, issue number five now. And so, in issue number six, um, well, back in issue number five, we saw at the end of issue number five that, you know, basically the anti-trauma unit that um, Jaime has inserted into uh, Paco's wound that helped heal him, basically was a sort of blue, a sort of like scarab unit too. So this unit turned Paco into um, the Scarlet Beetle. Um, now, in this issue, we begin with, you know, uh, Brenda at Jaime's house. Now, she's totally freaked out because, you know, she found out that, you know, Paco is not in his hospital bed or hospital room anymore. He's gone missing and that everything, you know, all these events that have happened to Paco in four days that he's been attacked so many times and, you know, going to the hospital has freaked out Brenda. She's worried that maybe some of the people that have attacked Paco um, took him away. And she's freaking out, you know. She's trying to contact her aunt, but she's not there. Um, so she goes to, you know, Jaime for comfort. Now, she does lash out at Paco, uh, not Paco, but Jaime, because, you know, she thinks that he doesn't care about Paco because of how he's, you know, reacting to everything. Um, but, of course, he does care. He's just thinking about the whole entire situation because technically everything falls onto him. Everything is happening because of him, because of the Blue Beetle Scarab that he has right now, or Kajida. So while they're talking, the doorbell rings and, um, you know, Jaime goes and answers the doorbell. Now, when he opens the door, we see Paco. He's extremely exhausted and he doesn't really look that good, you know, and he, you know, speaks. But his voice sounds a bit different. Um, now, why does it sound different? Well, of course, I told you. He is the Scarlet Beetle now. Um, so this the Beetle unit that is inside or controlling Paco has taken over. So what happens is, of course, Jaime notices after Paco punches him in the face and he turns into the Scarlet Beetle and Jaime has to turn into Blue Beetle in order to fight against him. Now they begin fighting. Now of course Jaime has questions. Why does Paco have the same Beetle unit as him? Why is he why does he look exactly like him? You know, why does he have this, you know, kind of armor form? Um, and of course Kajida tells and explains to you know, Jaime, the reason why Paco is like that, the reason why he is a organic host is because um, when you inserted that anti-trauma unit into, you know, Paco, it was basically a unit basically to destroy me because it sensed that I wasn't able to control you. So basically that means I was jeopardizing the mission because, you know, the mission was to infiltrate the planet destroy the defensive units in that planet and get ready to take over, you know, for the whole Reach, you know, army to take over um, the planet. And that was, you know, Kajida's um, intentions, you know, in the first place. But of course, Jaime fought against that. And that way, you know, the anti-trauma unit notices that um, Kajida doesn't have full control of Jaime, of his own host. So that unit activated and noticed that of course, Kajida is flawed. He is broken. He needs to be eliminated and destroyed in order to continue on with the mission. So the anti-trauma unit took over Paco and wants to destroy Kajida in order to eliminate him so they could continue on with their mission. Now, after hearing this, after hearing all this, um, of course, they're still fighting. And um, actually, you know, Paco does insult Jaime that he says, he tells, um, he asks the 
you know, Scarlet Beetle, how does Paco feel like feel about this? And he says, Paco thinks you're pathetic. And this pisses off Jaime because right now Paco's not too happy with Jaime because he thinks he betrayed him because he stabbed him, that he didn't tell him that he had the blue scarab unit in the whole, you know, in the, like the blue scarab in the whole entire place. You know, he had, he had it the whole entire time and he never told Paco. And all this bad crap has been happening because of Jaime. So he's a bit pissed off and ticked off. So... You know, this pisses off Jaime too. And he actually tells the Scarlet Beetle off that he says, How are you able to compete, complete your mission with an incompetent fool? Now, he didn't say incompetent fool, but he says, like, You know, how can you complete your mission with a high school dropout like Paco? And that's a really, really big insult right there. And, you know, the, the Scarlet Beetle is kind of surprised at what, you know, um, Jaime said. And after that, Jaime, you know, notices, he thinks of a plan that he said to, you know, Kajida, he said, okay, so the unit wants to destroy you because he thinks you don't have full control of me. And he's like, correct. So he said, but if he knows that you have full control of me, he will, you know, cancel out all his attack and he will, you know, uh, back off, right? And then he's like, correct. And he's like, okay then, why don't you basically make my voice sound like yours, okay? And I have a plan. So what Jaime did was he asked Kajida to you know, alternate his voice to make him sound like Kajida. Um, and he goes up to Brenda and his mother and sister, because his mother and sister just came home and notices the whole rebel in the house. He goes in, and he basically he grabs Brenda. And, of course, Jaime's mom, you know, trying to pull her back, but Jaime says, you know, who do you want to choose, the redhead or your daughter? And Brenda says, you know, take your, take your daughter and run, you know, and... You know, um, Jaime takes Brenda out in front of, you know, Scarlet Beetle and slaps her across the face. And, of course, Paco has feelings for um, Brenda. It's not like he's fully controlled. You know how that saying is, like, you're fully controlled or you're, you're brain controlled, but still your feelings are still there for that person you care about. Like, you know, Paco does care about Brenda. And when um, Paco sees this or Scarlet Beetle sees this, he's a bit shocked. And he asked, you know, Jaime, why are you doing this? And in, you know, Kajita's voice, Jaime says, I don't care. You know, basically what he says is that, you know, um, then my org, you know, my, um, my host cared about Brenda. He cares about her. But now I have taken over and I don't care. You know, I am ready to do what, you know, is right and I'm going to complete my mission. So he points his cannon at Brenda, ready to fire. And of course, you know, Scarlet Beetle's like, oh, Okay, he notices that he thinks that Kajida has taken over Jaime's body and mind and soul and whatever. So he backs off and he, um, you know, gives Paco back his body. Um, and yeah, so basically, uh, Jaime outsmarted the Scarlet Beetle. And after that, you know, Brenda's pretty pissed and Jaime leaves. Jaime leaves and this is a really sad moment. He leaves because he's... He's put his family in danger. He's hurt his best friend. Uh, and he's pushed everything, everybody he loved away. And he, everybody he cares about, he's put them in danger. And he flies away in the end of this issue. Now, there's a lot to be said about this issue. Um, Jaime does say his real superhero name. For the first time in this issue, he says his name. Brenda asks him, who are you? Or what are you? And Jaime says, you know, I'm the Blue Beetle. That's the first time he's ever said that in this issue, ever since he got the Scarab, he's never figured out a superhero name for himself, but now he has the Blue Beetle. In the title it says, Blue Beetle. So he says that. Also, what I have to say is, you know, back in the Blue Beetle, you know, before Blue Beetle was canceled, you know, I heard some things that, you know, he did reveal his identity to his friends and family to protect them more, you know, to give them greater protection, but they're doing it differently in this, you know, series, in this, you know, version of Blue Beetle. Um, that he's hiding his identity from his friends and family. Now, when he runs away, this is typical, right? You know, you always see the superhero um, don't want, you know, they don't want to get their loved ones involved, just like Batman. He doesn't want to get to, you know, get his lovers or people involved into, you know, his universe or his world because he's afraid that, you know, they're going to be used against him. Just like, you know, Jason Todd, Dick Grayson, he was always scared to have a new Robin because he was scared that he was going to drag them in and he was going to have, you know, he was going to care about them so much that sooner or later it was going to get to him and he didn't want that to happen. Same thing with this. It's just, it's just typical superhero thing, right? I mean, it's, 
it's generic. I have to admit it's generic, but it's still sad. I mean, it's not repetitive to the point where you're like, oh, wow, we've seen this a lot of times already. We've seen the hero care about his family and friends, so he decides to run away, right? It's normal. But in a sense, you know, reading it from Jaime's point of view, he's a high schooler. He's running away from his friends and family because of Kajida. Imagine him. Imagine yourself as Jaime right now. You pointed a cannon at the person you love the most. He has feelings for Brenda. He loves Brenda. He just doesn't, you know, express it to her. But he had to point a cannon at her face. And, you know, he had to do it to, you know, make the Scarlet Beetle back off. Now, think of it. You know, you're all like, that's, you know, that's just a plan. But in Jaime's point of view, it hurts. It hurts him to do that. He had to force himself to point a cannon at the person he loves the most to put her in danger. And this creates more drama. It's just like Spider-Man. There's a lot of drama. He's a teenager. He's supposed to sort of have dramas and issues in his life. And they're bringing that sense into it. Just like, you know, Peter Parker. He has drama with school on May. Uh, as Spider-Man too. And everybody around him. Same thing with Jaime right now. He's having a lot of, you know, trouble with his friends and family. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing. I really like that kind of sort of drama. It makes you feel like you're the character itself. Like, you feel like, you know, you understand Jaime. You see how he feels like, you know? And basically, you know, it's it's a good thing. I, I sort of like it in a way. And I hopefully, you know, it's just like, if he does reveal his identity to Brenda and Paco, Paco sort of does know already, but like, if he, have, you know, reveals it to his you know, friends and family right now, it could create a lot of tension. And I'm interested in seeing if he will ever, you know, reveal his identity. And hopefully he does. And when he does, I'm ready to see how they take it on, you know, see what, you know, how Brenda would react because she got a cannon pointed at her face, you know, if, you know, Jaime said, uh, I'm, I'm the Blue Beetle. And she's like, you pointed a cannon at my face. I'm your friend. Why didn't you tell me this? You know, it's it's those times when, you know, people feel betrayed when you reveal your identity to them. So, all in all, I like to say that Blue Beetle is a great, great series right now. I love this issue. Um, so, I guess we're going to get more into a better storyline right now because, you know, this is the end of what's going to, what, what's been happening. So, hopefully we will see, see a new storyline pick up and... Yeah, I really like Blue Beetle. Hope you, hopefully you guys are still picking up Blue Beetle. If you guys haven't still been picking it up, you should still pick it, uh, pick it up and stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys like and enjoy this review. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Or hopefully when you guys read this, I hope you enjoy this comic book as much as I did. So leave comments below if you want, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so see ya.